What's up guys, we're here, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to go over the brand new Lunar Shrines event coming to Diablo 4 Season 3. So we're going to check this out, they tweeted, the devs tweeted this out a few hours ago, I just got home from work and I kind of wanted to go over everything as the trailer's playing in the background. It's pretty, it's pretty, pretty cool. We got the brand new event coming with bonus glyphs, ancestral flav fa flavors, favors limited time rewards and a shop bundle which if you care about the shop bundle it's really cool but this trailer is really really nice the visuals are great this things look fantastic so it's going to start february 6th so let's go in and break everything down i know a lot of people have been super excited about you know diablo 4 season 3 i mean i know there's still a large majority of people that don't really care for it but I had to kind of break this down because I think this is an, a very important thing that we need to take note of before we kind of get into this is just that I kind of feel like the devs are listening, right? We had that midwinter blight event from last season, which kind of flopped, but the, the idea and focus was there to keep us entertained with more content throughout each and every single season so we got this brand new lunar awakening event that's going to go on and then upcoming after that even though it was a big l and it wasn't at the start of the season we got the leaderboards if you're big into leaderboards but i just want to make that note there because i do think that the devs are listening to us in that respect to try to keep fresh content coming to keep us players engaged in their game now with that aside let's go ahead and check uh check 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 this out okay so uh prosperity awaits in the lunar awakening okay this was today so from february 6th 10 a.m uh to february 20th 10 a.m players in both the seasonal and eternal realms which i think is just fantastic because it's only it's also going to apply to the seasonal realm besides you know people who are just playing seasons because i know there's still a vast majority of players that don't want to play seasons but i'm glad it's in both it's a limited time event a mysterious phenomenon is manifesting throughout the shrines of sanctuary enchanting them with immense with immense and prosperous power celebrators believe this to be their ancestors blessing them from beyond their grave to celebrate the joyous occasion so identify and activate lunar shrines so it looks like we got some really cool lunar shrines that are going to be popping off uh they're going to be found in the overworld as well as any other aspects of sanctuary while active you earn 50 percent multiplicative bonus exp which is important i'm glad they put this in parentheses because if you guys do not remember that they had to do a correction on this on their last event because two events ago they added the whole you know uh what is it lilith's blessing for an extra 25 percent xp and that was just additive so it was essentially nothing so players caught on and figured that out you know because blizzard thought we were stupid and changed it to multiplicative so i'm glad that that's there and 30 percent increased movement speed absolutely phenomenal with a plethora of buffs so this is really cool. You're going to be able to just blast through dungeons and gain XP. So I will say this, guys. By February 6th, which is exactly seven days from day of recording, you are, like, try to get your first character to 100. So that way, you can create another character if you want and get that one to 100. But if you haven't gotten to 100 yet, this, sure enough, will get you there. So big dub there. Uh, Lunar Awakening has dawned. To fully enjoy the revelry of the Lunar Awakening, travel to Ked Bardu and head to the northern section of town. Once there, you'll meet Ying Yu, the leader of the Lunar uh, Night Market. The market is your central hub. See, this is really cool. I'm glad they keep bringing us these central hub things, kind of like a hideout where, you know, you're going to be able to just kind of have your base. I hope they keep stuff up like this and eventually we'll be able to customize our own. I talked about that in the brand new season. Okay, the market is the hub where you'll redeem your ancestors' favors. Um reputation for extravagant extravagant lunar renewal themed rewards that's cool the shrines are spread throughout we already know this you fight your way through the dungeons in the overworld acti activating shrines and just killing things they can be identified by their appearance adorned with a dragon in the celebration of the lunar awakening which is really cool lunar shrines also have a unique map icon so it makes it easy to identify these uh so this is kind of what it looks like it's got a dragon here as you guys can see wait where's the shrine so the shrine is right here so you guys can see that it has a bit of a dragon on here which is really really cool so you know that it's still a shrine but it's the one from the lunar event i think that is really really cool 
Um, so let's check this out. So Lunar Shrines give you immense power. All right, during the the awakening, some shrines have been replaced. Okay, so here's the, the provide. So the Lunar Shrines are gonna provide an exciting bonus on top of the regular shrine power. So let's check it out. Augmented Lunar Shrine effects. Artillery Shrine, casts have a chance to summon a holy bomb. Blast Wave, each explosion summons a cluster bombardment. Channeling gives you increased attack speed and a chance to reset cooldowns. The Conduit summons frequent powerful shocking strikes. That's kind of cool. Um, Greed gives a chance to summon a, a treasure goblin. While the shrine is active, 25 kills summons a treasure goblin and 50 kills summons a second. So I wonder if this is just continuous. I wonder if this is just every 25 period, you'll just keep summoning uh, goblins. That will be really, really cool. Lethal Shrine has a chance to instantly execute a struck monster, causing fear. Note, this includes elites, but excludes bosses. That's pretty cool. So you're going to be, like, if you get a Lethal Shrine, you're going to be able to absolutely just slay, just flex. You're going to be able to flex through all of the dungeons. This is super good. Uh, Protection Shrine, you reflect all incoming damage. Damage reflected scales with level and world tier. Wow. Dude, you pop these two. This is really good. And don't forget, too, guys, that part of your ashes this season, the urns, you can have the increased shrine duration by about 50%, or is it 40%? I think it's 40% this season. So these shrines are going to be insane for this event. Oh, my God. On top of these, uh, spirits spawn immediately when a, a shrine is activated, allowing you to immediately capitalize on the shrine's specific gameplay augmentation. I really like that. Uh, Lunar Awakening theme whisper bounties are available through the event, making them an excited place to earn the favor's uh, reputation while it, appeasing the Tree of Whispers. So cool, you're going to be able to do this with Tree of Whispers events. That makes that really um, unique and fun. So let's check out the garments and shrines. So it looks like we got a bunch of just cosmetics here, which is really cool. There's 10 ancestors favor reputation levels to earn and six different lunar themed cosmetics. Uh, to unlock okay the lunar awakening themed garments will also be available in the shop materialize uh to adorn the wanderer and it's believed in the joyous occasion okay so there's a lot of really cool um cosmetics here i think this is nice they keep need to bring in these for free i think this is great uh so february 6th guys seven days that's the event so we get some really cool shrines we're gonna get a big boost in exp 50 percent multiplicative and move more move speed this i think is going to be super fun again it's only for 14 days so two weeks in totality i think this is going to be a great way and again it's actually timed really perfect because by the end of this we'll be coming up on a month of the game and then seasons will go uh, or excuse me the leaderboards will go right into effect so for anybody who is interested in leaderboards and doesn't have their character to 100 needs to get gear and you're you know you're a casual andy and maybe you don't have a lot of time this is really where you're going to have like a last push to at least get one character to 100 if not more to try to kind of get prepared for leaderboards because literally right after this we started on the 23rd of january so literally three days after roughly three four days after february 20th we should be getting the leaderboards so this is actually really cool to give us something like this right before leaderboards but all in all, I think this is a really cool event. Makes the game, uh, you know, more XP, more movement speed. We got some really cool shrine effects and some really big bonuses here. The uh, greed shrine is definitely super cool with the treasure goblins. I hope this just continues to go up past 50. And then the protection or protection of lethal shrines are badass. So, yeah, I think this is a really cool event, guys. Like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the event. And, you know, if you don't have a level 100 yet, let me know. This should help you get there. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.